Welcome to Jim's Garage. I'm Jim. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, show you a quick video on how you can make an inexpensive tool quickly, which will help you when you uh, pull out the camshaft out of a wide block engine. It'll hold the uh, lifters up for you. All right. Doing a job on my 1955 Ford here. has a 272 wide block engine in it. And if you've uh, looked this up online and come to this video, you probably are familiar with the, the issue that we encounter when pulling the camshaft out while the engine is still in the car. Uh, unlock, unlike most other automobile engines, the uh, solid lifters come in from the bottom and you just can't pull them out. Uh, what holds them in place is your camshaft. If you pull the camshaft out, they fall into the lifters fall into the oil pan, and you have a big problem. Then you got to pull the engine out. Uh, now I'm not a mechanic by trade, just a hobbyist. So when I have to do a project like this that I never did before, first I have a lot of good friends that are retired mechanics. I talk to them. I uh, read books on the subject, search the internet, and YouTube, of course. All right, uh, when I came up to this part of the project here, I couldn't find anything that I was satisfied with on holding those lifters out of the way. Uh, so let's go take a look at the engine now. All right, now here we are. This is a little tool with a, a magnet on the end of it here. I can put it in here and these are the lifters I'm talking about, the solid lifters. The magnet can pull them up but they only come this far. You can't get them out all the way. And what's holding them up is the camshaft. So, uh, all the research I did online, etc., only found two methods that were suggested to hold these lifters in place. One was to use a spring-loaded clothespin like this. You would put a magnet in, hold that lifter up, and I'm going to switch around so you can see what I'm doing here. And grab that lifter with this clothespin. And you'd have to do this on all 16 valves, but I don't trust myself with something like this. They're too easy to pop off. That would happen. The lifter falls down into the oil pan. Disaster. So the other method I come up with online was to use a small hose clamp like this. You would... Uh, now, I guess, put it on your magnetic tool. Oops, we lost that lifter. Get it up here again. Okay. And somehow slip this over it. And then you need a third hand to tighten the screw here. Seems like a lot of trouble to me. Plus, I didn't have 16 of these. So I said to myself... The magnet works great. All I need is 16 of these. But they're too expensive. I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking to myself, what else could I use? So I'm looking around my garage. And on this wall over here, I see this. All right. <laughs> this is what I found. My magnetic tool holder. Just a magnet. It holds your wrenches up there. Now... If this would fit inside the engine block, I'd have it made. Well, when you weren't looking, I measured it. It does fit. So what I'm going to do now, take my screwdriver, and I'm going to remove it off the wall with these two screws. All right, here we are. Magnetic toolbar. Toolbar holder, tool holder. All right, this fits in this engine here. <laughs> it looks like it was made for it. No, I didn't cut it. Fits right over the hole where the 
lift this pop out of and I'm going to turn the crank up around and as I do that you can hear the lifters popping up. Now I want to show you what they look like when they're up here. Alright, right here. Uh, and you'd have to put one of these on the other side too. I do have another toolbar holder that's inserted on this side over here. But it doesn't pull the lifters up completely as far as they can go. So I wanted to make a slight modification to this so that the lifter will be held up out of the way as much as it could. And the reason for, the reason for that is as you're sliding the cam out and putting it back in, there's a little bit of because a little bit of there's some little slop in it, wiggly, once you pull it out of the, the bearings there. And I don't want to bump the inside lifter there and, 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 and knock it off the magnet or whatever. So I want to hope those lifters to come up out of the way as much as possible. So taking this, uh, come with me over to the workbench and we'll take a look at it. Okay. Uh, what I want to do is have that lifter pull up a little bit more. So when this is on the engine, it's in this position. So I want to put a little lip on here. And I'm going to do that by, I found a 3 16 dowel here. I'm just going to glue that on here, on each side. So I'll gain enough here to pull that lifter up, to pull that lifter up all the way. So let's just take this. Secure it here. Just put it on with a hot glue gun. So I'm going to do both sides of this and the other one. So there's no point in you watching all of this. I'm going to cut the video now and I'll come back when I'm done. All right. So this is what I wound up with. Put them down on each side. It's going to, going to sit in the engine this way and pull the lifters up an extra three sixteenths of an inch more than we had before. And I have two of these made up and ready to go. So let's go put them in the engine now. Okay, here we go. I got the other side in already. We'll put this side in over here. that in place and right. I'm going to turn the camshaft over and you'll hear each of the lifters pop up when we make a full turn they should all be in place I'll lift this up and take a little peek and you can see it for yourself you can see that they're the shiny things, they're all where we want them, on both sides. Now, we pull out the camshaft. There's a little wiggle factor here. out. What you don't want to do now is lift up that magnet to see if they're still there. Trust me, they're there. So you inspect your camshaft, put a new one in, whatever you want to do, and then slide it back in. There we go. 
take a quick little persuasion persuasion on it, maybe. No. Oh. It's not inside that last bearing yet. There it is. That's it. And the job. All right, so that was a complete installation there of a new camshaft or, or whatever you're, you're doing with your camshaft. Uh, this is how I did the job with the lifters. Maybe there are better ways out there. I couldn't find anything else online. Maybe this has been done already. I couldn't find it. So if this is a, if it works, if it's a benefit to somebody, uh, I hope you make good use of it. That's all. Thank you.